The novel's about memory and about how what we remember sustains us. The main character is losing her memory and yet, on the other hand, there are parts of her past that she's spent her entire life suppressing. And that becomes more vivid to her at the end of her life. Her past is Leningrad, the first winter of the siege of Leningrad right after Hitler attacked. St. Petersburg was called Leningrad during the war. And there's a museum, the Hermitage Museum, which is arguably the finest museum in the world, the best collection of art in the world. And the staff members of the museum had to evacuate, I think it was two and a half million pieces of art, and they packed them all into crates, they put them on trains, and sent them off so that if Hitler did break through the lines, he wouldn't get the art. Except the, they left the frames on the walls as sort of promise that the art would come back. The city was eventually surrounded by the German army and was under siege for three years. The main character, Marina, her act of survival is to kind of rehang all of the paintings in the museum mentally. And so she develops this routine where she walks through the museum and she memorizes all of the paintings and where they hung. Alzheimer's is magical realism. My grandmother's Alzheimer's was the germ for the novel and watching her start to lose her memory. It was kind of interesting because she's a, uh, she had been a very sweet, composed, quiet southern lady and she got Alzheimer's and it just loosened her tongue and she started giving opinions that she never would have shared when she was in full possession of her faculties. It's about mystery and about beauty, the things that ultimately keep us going when the world falls apart. <laughs>